Hey, there's a cop over there. Let's find out if you can fly drones. Or at least what the cop will say, because I know you can. It's a proper airspace here, but let's go over here and see what Copy McGee has to say. I bet he just has a blanket. No, what do you think? Let's see if I can get the camera lined up so you can see him. Hi. How you doing? Hey, just quick question. Um, are you allowed to fly drones around here? Huh? Are you allowed to fly drones around you, here? You do it all the time, so why are you asking? I do it? Yeah. How do you know that I do it? I've seen your videos. Oh, he's seen my videos. <laughs> well, I was just curious as to what the police's standpoint on that would be. Uh, we really don't care. Oh, you don't? No. Oh, that's great. Uh, I don't you, know what does. So you want to be on the video with me? Huh? You want to be on the video with me? Yeah, I got to go. Okay. Well, there's a cop right there, and he says it's cool. What's your name? Ryan. It's Ryan. No last name given, yep. but thanks, man. Hey, man. You Are you subscribed? Yep. Oh, he is. He's subscribed. <laughs> thanks, man. All right. All right. <laughs> well, okay. Hey, everybody. I am in a car wash. That's what I always do before I head on a long road trip because... There's just something about a shiny car that makes you feel good. You want to come along? Let's go. Here we are in downtown Memphis and we're gonna check to see if it's okay to fly here because we want to fly that building right there it's got a round thing on the top i'm assuming it's a restaurant you're from here tell us all about it it has to be a restaurant you don't know for sure not really and you're from memphis yeah i don't really come in this little area right here just uh -huh. in the pyramid great tour guide he is <laughs> <laughs> there are some broken windows we can see from here so i'm guessing is it abandoned? Like the whole building's got some and broken windows in it. Here's the name of the building. See, now there it is right there. Yeah. I should have known that. Now, as every good droner does, they check the conditions. He's got the conditions on his phone for the weather and everything. Are we good? Yes, we are good to fly. All right. And on my phone, we're checking out the AirMap app to see how close we are from the airport. And we're right on the edge here. Very important to check. Yes. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead, even though it's okay, according to this, I'm going to uh, report what we're doing using the Lance system. Okay, I've created a, uh, a flight here. It's in green, so we should be okay. Pre-flight checklist. We've done all that. We check the propellers, make sure we smell good. He smells good. So the duration, we're not going to be here for four hours. We'll be here for like an hour. Altitude. Mm. I would say that's more than 400 feet. Yeah, okay. It's already got my information in here about the, the drone and everything. Expected visibility. Yeah, oh yeah, that's 10. good. Maximum speed of the flight. Uh, what do you think, 100, 110 miles an hour? Not really, 20 miles an hour. The way the drone's already in there. Blah, 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 yes, yes, yes. Next, creating flight plan. And All right. And submit. Come on, come on. Three, two, one. Ding. Yes, ding, ding. And it even gives you a little countdown timer. So we're good. We're good. And so now what I'm gonna do to be doubly sure and doubly diligent, I am going to get some insurance using Verifly. And uh, it defaults to a certain size. So I'm gonna unlock this area. Maximum coverage is $5 million. <laughs> Reasonably relying, blah, 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 blah. I agree. Understand that blibbity blop, blah, blah, blip. Yeah, I agree. Now to get insured. $25? That's a lot. Is it worth it? Oh, yeah. I think so, yeah. Just, just to be safe. You know? Because if you land on... Let's say we're up there and something happens. The drone crashes and I land on a... Or go around the Lamborghini, or even worse, Ferrari. Uh, 
or you know, like a person. That'd be bad too. That would be very bad. So begin my coverage. Yes, I'm covered. And then we view the coverage map and it does a little countdown. So we're good to go. We even paid yeah. the parking meter. We're all covered, let's do this. I will be using the goggles for this because it's a bright sunny day. Uh, but of course, if you use goggles, you have to use them, according to the FAA anyway, uh, sporadically, like you would binoculars, just to check on your situational awareness. There's a gray area. A little gray area. Yeah. So when I'm not paying attention, he will be paying attention because he's my visual observer. Remember that. to set your return to home higher than the building is. <laughs> because if you don't, what happens? <laughs> Run into a building. <laughs> Just like this. Uh-oh. That's it. There's my drone. Bye. Where is it? See it falling? Yeah, it's right there. What the f Ugh. That's not gonna happen. It's hard to watch. So yes, even even I am fallible. Although my hair isn't. My hair is always perfect. I myself make mistakes from time to time. All right, we're good, yay. I'd say it was a solid 10, 12 minutes of preparing and getting it ready. Yeah, you, you wanna make sure everything's correct. Yeah. Now we are gonna fly over the street, but only when there's no traffic. We good? Yes, you're good. First, I'm gonna go straight up and get a shot of the whole building. I don't need goggles for that. And we'll double check to see how high it is so that I'm sure that if it needs to return home that it can and nothing bad will happen. Oh, what a beautiful, perfect day for this. Look at that. Oh, I was right. Yeah, so right at... Uh, 385, maybe 395. Yeah, so this is the maximum yeah. height for right now, but if we're within 400 feet of the building, which we are, I can go a little higher. So let's do that. point the camera down and cross the street over the most rooftops without there being any cars. Now that's a parking lot down there. All right, now we're over that rooftop. And luckily for us, the building, the target building has a little bit of a, a roof to the street. So we can hop across the street and do an orbit of the building without fear of being over traffic. All right, I'm going goggles. Okay, I still got my eye on it. Yeah, man, that place is trashed. I think the whole building is abandoned. We got the air conditioning units are trashed, all the electrical stuff. It's got uh, graffiti. Graffiti? Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm gonna just do a little bit of an orbit here. Let's see if we can't get a peek inside and see what's in the restaurant, huh? Yeah, 
Man, that'd be an interesting building to explore, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. So James, sorry, sorry, did I bump you? <laughs> sorry about that. Um, you want to try to get in there? What, the drone? No, the building. I would love to. Do you, do you think it says no exploring on it? Like a sign? Probably says... Did you see anything up there saying no trespassing? Not up there, but they don't post signs for drones to see. They usually post the signs down below. We'll go check it out. Let's land this thing. There we are. All right. Good flight. Well, that's it, a successful flight. There are a few touch and go moments, but it was crucial to have a visual observer. And I thank you. You're welcome. What's next? Let's get in there. You want to go in? Yeah, I want to Let's go see in. if we can, anyway. Let's go. Well, it turns out the restaurant wasn't abandoned. And here we are, uh, high atop uh, downtown Memphis in that little round restaurant. Uh, the window is broken, but it gives a nice breeze. Okay. Anyway, here's to us. All right. And I'm lying, this is Chili's. <laughs> well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, remember when you're driving, don't lash out at the other drivers. <laughs> Book and bye.